Okay. Cam Studio decided to lose my video. So everything I recorded just was for nothing. Yeah, awesome, huh? So I was surfing the interwebs today, as I often do. And I found a request. A request for sunspot removal. And this picture, the only sunspot I think I see is right here over the doggy's eye. And if we zoom into 100%, get a good look at it here. That's what we got. Now keep in mind, I've already done all the corrections. And I had probably like, you know, a 15 minute video that just disappeared on me. So, this is what I had done. First thing, I made a new layer here. And I just painted with black to kind of fill in that circle. And then once I did that, I control clicked on the layer thumbnail to get it selected. Now, you can turn off that layer thumbnail because you don't actually need to see that. And then go to your adjustment layers menu here and you create a new levels adjustment layer. And because you had a selection, it puts a mask on that adjustment layer that shows only what you had selected. So you can now, you are now free to mess with the levels of just the area that you have selected. Pretty cool. But you know, you would you would go through the go through these levels adjustments, you know, get it adjusted to a, where you think it's it's gonna look good and get rid of this little sunspot. You could also do this with a curves adjustment layer. No, whatever you are most comfortable with. Now you can see we still got a little bit of a ring around it, so that's pretty easy to take care of. Just grab your brush tool. And I usually like to work with my flow around 10% or lower. I do have a tablet and that's just my my way of painting stuff like this. And I'm just gonna go around the outer edge where this light ring is still appearing and I'm not doing a great job here I think I'm still angry because the video I had where I already did all of this just kind of disappeared on me went to save my screen recording and it said could not find the file so that was weird but this is the basic idea make your adjustment layer then paint on the mask where you want the adjustment to appear. I'm not going to continue to paint this because I'm just, I've already done this. This is the levels layer that I originally did with the mask to get rid of the spot. And then I did a curves layer on top of it to try and make some more changes. Now zoomed into 200% here, I don't think it looks that good. But viewing the whole image <laughs> at this size, I don't think you would know there was ever a sunspot there. There's before, and that's after. Going to 100%. Before and after. Like I said, I, I wouldn't call this perfect, but this is exactly how I would try to get rid of the sunspot. Now, someone else <coughs> had done a correction for this image and posted it. And that's what I've got up here on this layer named Layer 2. So let's turn that one on. Can you tell what they did? That's right. They used either the clone tool or the healing tool or maybe a, maybe a combination of both. Who knows? But it looks like they just cloned a bunch of the fur from around the spot into the spot. And that's not really a good way of doing it because you lost all of this nice doggy fur texture that was originally there that creates this kind of an eyebrow thing right here. See if we turn on that top layer, that little eyebrow is completely gone. Our doggy no longer has an eyebrow. Oh no. But yeah. Clone tool, bad. Bad, bad, bad. You know, maybe, uh, I don't know if there's a way they could have more effectively and convincingly used the cloning and healing tools to get rid of this, but that's not the first thing I would have grabbed. No, no, we need to do an adjustment layer and then only, only have it affect that sunspot area. But yeah, my image may or may not be any good, but this is how I would do it. Adjustment layers, 
to get rid of the sunspot. Hope it helped.